Hey, Ape Scholars and Teachers. Today, I wanna to take a quick minute to walk through the Apes Diagnostic Worksheet that you can use for practice exam number one. This is the 2020 practice exam that you can get through AP Classroom. Now your teacher can assign this to you if you're a student. Teachers, if you assign this to students, you have to be careful not to scramble the question order because whoever made this practice exam diagnostic, another side note quickly, if anybody knows who made this, feel free to chime in so we can give author attribution. But this was shared in the Facebook group. It's a diagnostic that a lot of teachers use. But either way, you have to keep the questions in the sort of default order that they come in. If you do that and you give this as either a paper or digital practice test, students can then look at this diagnostic and mark the questions that they got incorrect, again, based on the default order. So let's say you got question 3, 11, 19, 24, so on and so forth wrong. You go through and mark each of those questions that you got wrong as incorrect. Then the important part is to navigate over to the test results analysis page. You do that and now you can see which units you struggled on the most. So in this case, it looks like this student would have struggled the most on unit four and then unit uh, eight and then unit six. So now the student can say, hey, one and two, 100%, I nailed those. Seven, 100%, nailed that as well. I'm gonna focus a little bit more on four, six, and eight here so I can try to shore up the weaker parts of my understanding of the total course content. You can also do this using the analysis uh, results tab, which is just gonna visualize this for you. You can then look at the percent correct by science practice as well. So you can see, oh, it looks like I really struggled on text analysis actually, and then concept explanation. Now, text analysis and concept explanation are hard skills to get better at really quickly, but it's still valuable to know those are maybe your weak points. An example of really valuable feedback you might get here is let's say your data analysis or your uh, mathematical calculations are really low. Those are things that are a little bit easier to get better at because you can pay closer attention to graphs. You can make sure you know percent change if you're worse on the math problems. Uh, you can look at scientific experiments. Let's say you really struggled on topic four. You could watch the video on my YouTube channel that goes through exactly how to set up a scientific experiment on an FRQ and how to remember variables and groups and hypotheses, which would also apply to the multiple choice. Or you can look at any of the other thousands of YouTube videos that help you understand variables, the scientific method, so on and so forth. So I hope this is helpful. Again, you input those incorrect questions here on this first tab, then you go look at the results and then you study smarter or more in a more targeted way rather than harder. So as you're coming down the home stretch, getting ready for this APES exam, something that I think is super helpful to do and can help you look at your weakest topics instead of just studying all 99 topics, which can be kind of daunting when you're a week or two out. As always, think like a mountain, study like a scholar.